This week, you'll hear a lot about CO2 emissions, but perhaps less about CO2 concentrations. And actually, if you're going to grasp the implications of climate change, it's important to understand the difference. Give me two minutes and I'll do my best. Now, lots of scientists say it's best to imagine the atmosphere as like a bathtub. The CO2 emissions are the water flowing into the bath and the CO2 concentrations are the amount of water in the bath. Human activities like burning fossil fuels, cutting down forests and making cement generate emissions which increase the concentrations. Now, this graph from the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii shows how CO2 concentrations are rising. Nature does absorb some of the CO2, but it can't keep pace with our emissions. At the COP26 Climate Summit in Glasgow, world leaders will talk about reaching net zero emissions, which means stopping filling up the metaphorical bathtub. But the CO2 concentrations will remain high for hundreds of years. And that means global warming will continue even in a net zero world. Copernicus Climate Change Service Director Carlo Buontempo explains. There will be uh, an inertia in the system and the temperature will keep going up a bit before going down. The glaciers will keep melting and sea level rise will continue uh, rising. And this will continue rising for the next uh, hundreds of years. That, that's quite, um, uh, quite a, a thought. Indeed it is. And for more thought-provoking climate news, head over to euronews.com green and let us know your thoughts on our social media channels.